Hi everybody, this is Dr. Susan Richards again. I'm so happy to be with you. And one of the things I wanted to talk about is something that nobody likes, which is cancer. Everybody can't stand cancer. They don't want it. They don't want to have anything to do with it. They always feel really badly when somebody has the illness. And the problem we deal with is next to heart disease. It's the most common disease in our whole country. We're talking about millions and millions of people having cancer. It's like, you know, they call it an epidemic. And it actually is kind of an epidemic because so many millions of people have it. Nobody likes it. They don't like having the disease. They don't like how they feel with it. They don't like the treatments because there's so many side effects having chemotherapy and radiation and surgery and, and none of it feels good. It, you lose your hair, your blood count goes down. You can't fight off infections. It's just none of it's any good. The wonderful thing that I want to share with you is that doctors like myself who are also doing ministry, we're so blessed because we get to witness God healing so many people with cancer. I just see cancer healing all the time through the Lord. There's nothing that God can't do and he certainly has no trouble healing cancer. Like everything else, everything is easy for God. He can heal cancer and he can heal it instantly. It's not like you have to wait for forever to have it heal. I mean, anytime God wants to heal something, he can heal it this fast. Sometimes he does things progressively as well. He might do an instant cure that's just instant. And sometimes he does what we call progressive healing, where you get miracles, but he does it kind of more step by step, but you're always getting better. There's always something to be grateful to God for. You're always healing. So this is what makes God very happy, is when we believe in him, we trust in him, we know he's going to heal us, and we're willing to let him be the, the head. He's the boss. He's the planner. It's not me. It's not you. It's not any of the doctors you see. I'm a doctor. I'm a minister. I come from both sides, but God's the boss. I'm very clear who creates the healings. But I've been so blessed to see thousands and thousands of these wonderful healings of God things that we could never see in my field. So I can only share with you how wonderful it is to witness all these miracles of the Lord, because everything he does in our eyes is a miracle. So I've had so many testimonies of cancer healing. Next to heart disease, it's the most common disease in, in our country. So even if you don't have cancer now, some of you do who are watching, and those of you that don't, just be aware that because it's such a common disease, you might have cancer on its way. In other words, it's kind of forming in your body, but you're not aware of it yet. It's just kind of doing its thing that it does. And then some of you may just have the genetic predisposition to cancer. You may have mutations in your DNA and your genetic material that's going to create cancer one of these days, whether it's next year or five years or 10 years or 20 years. You're predisposed just by your instruction manual that is your genetic material. In every cell of your body, you've got genetic material. And we have over 37 trillion cells. And all of our cells have this genetic material. That's a lot of cells and a lot of genetic material. So what I want to do with all of you today is just either help you heal or protect you if you're meant to have this. And a lot of you will. It's just like a lot of you will have heart disease at some point. I'm as big on preventive medicine and preventing as I am on curing. Both are equally important. If you have it, you want to get rid of it. You don't want to have a horrible disease. And even better yet is not to get it at all if you're actually predisposed to, to having that happen. I want to share with you a few testimonies. I just see these wonderful cancer healings all the time. They're so joyful. Last night I was at a healing event. It was a beautiful time. I had the best time with all the people there. So I, ha I had different people coming up to me who've been to some of my other events last night. And a couple of people came up to me and they both shared with me that since I prayed for them, they had cancer healings. Um, one woman had what we call peritoneal cancer. It's stage four. It's the worst. It's the absolute worst you can have because it's the most aggressive stage. And then the peritoneum is the cavity within your body that's kind of like the pelvic and abdominal cavity. And what's sitting in there is um, your intestines, your bladder. They're all kind of pushing out into the peritoneum if you're a woman, 
the ovaries, the uterus, I mean, everything's kind of poking into the perineum, and that's the surface tissue. It's called in the medical field epithelial tissue. And when cancer arises from there, it literally grows into your body. And it's a horrible cancer. It can make you swell up like a balloon, where you're just filled with, with water and a lot of cancer cells. It's a really bad news cancer. And I was so happy for this woman. She said she had a wonderful healing from something that's completely from the enemy. Horrible cancer, and not a very common cancer. It's actually really quite rare. It's not like lung cancer, or breast cancer, or colon cancer. So I was so happy that she had this wonderful healing. And another woman um, had had a cancer that was a superficial cancer on the skin, more the skin area, and you know maybe inside as well in the lining, but it was covering her nose. Just remember, cancer can be on any part of your face and head. You can get what we call squamous cell cancer, you can get basilar cancer, you can get malignant melanoma, which is really the worst of all. That's like the most horrible one, because it's really aggressive and, and it's very dangerous. It was wonderful, because she said she had had a healing as well. She was very excited. I'd seen them both about a month earlier, and they were um, sharing about this wonderful healing of the Lord. And I'm getting testimonies every time I'm doing ministry of people being healed right on the spot, people that I've prayed for, um, God's healed them. It's just a beautiful thing for me to witness because I love people being freed from these horrible illnesses. So I want to pray for you for a couple of things just as starters. There's so much I can pray for. But I want to pray for each and every one of you for some basics. There's no cancer, for example, without changes that are abnormal in your genetic material. DNA mutations are in every single cancer that exists. There's no cancer that hasn't had mutations exist in your genetic material. It doesn't matter what it is how advanced it is, how early it is, it just comes with the territory. That we're going to get rid of the, the genetic imbalance that causes this disease. Whether you have the disease, whether you're in process of developing it, you may not even know that, or, or you haven't developed it, but you just have the, the changes in your genetic material that would predispose you to this. Let's pray this out for every one of you here today. We don't want any bad programming malprogramming in your genetic material. We want nice, clean, happy genetic material. We don't want genetic material that the enemy has come in and invaded and pops holes in it or changes the sequence of the components of the genetic material or has duplicated or done anything that shouldn't happen to make it abnormal and to give you bad out. So we want to make everything in the Lord back normal again. So God, I want to pray for every one of my brothers and sisters in Christ who are here. And that you all be blessed with the freshest, healthiest genetic material that is no longer coding for illness, no illness, no cancer. And I want to pray that it, you're cleaned up for anything. How many of you know that if you're depressed, which is a lot of people, you know, up to 40 million people in our country are clinically depressed where they need to be on drugs. And a whole lot more people that aren't on drugs and aren't being cared for by their doctors with this, millions more have depression too. You know, next to anxiety, it's, it's our most common mental illness, emotional issue. And within depression alone, there's over 17 different mutations in the in the DNA that have been found to, to be there. And it really predisposes a lot of people to depression because it's right in their genetic material. Just one little example, you know, we're talking about cancer, but here's depression. So these mutations predisposing you to all kinds of issues are everywhere. So let Lord, I just pray that you give everybody the healthiest and best genetic material that they could ever have and that they're blessed with health, good health, great health, wonderful health, and that they feel their best. They feel wonderful, wonderful, wonderful in the Lord. I pray that for each and every one of you, that you are literally thriving, and everything is set right so that your genetic material is a blessing upon you. No problems, no weaknesses, no nothing that shouldn't be there. So I pray this in the name of the Lord for each and every one of you. I love you all. It's great to be with you. Blessings from God. In Jesus' name, amen. Lots of love.